the time is now that we must begin to ensure that we de-dollarize our economy. The Americans don't want to hear this. That we must begin to de-dollarize our economies. In 1963, on the 25th day of May to be exact, 32 heads of states and government gathered in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. And I urge you to read the speech delivered by Kwame Nkrumah, exhorting the leaders of the day. Let us not live here without a single central bank, he said. Let us not live here without a single currency. Let us not live here with a, without a single policy on matters finance because if we don't the independence that we are talking about will mean nothing we will have received the the crown without the jewel and indeed we receive the crown that we call political independence without the jewel that is economic independence ha jun chang in his book, The Bad Samaritan appears to make prescriptions which I think are commendable. He says that if you look at the history of all the countries in the West, at critical times in their growth, they did certain things that immunized them from external vagaries. Do we do so in Africa? No, we don't. If you look at China, which is now rising, and India, which are now rising, they ring-fenced a few things for their own benefit. Do we in Africa do so? No, we don't. If you look at the emerging Arab countries, which you now see the Emiratis or the Bahrainis or Burunei or Darul Salaam, you can see they do that. If you look at little Singapore, they are doing that. Do we? No, we don't. We still wait for the almighty IMF to tell us things. And then we say, oh, almighty IMF and World Bank, we have heard you. When IMF sneezes, our economy goes into a coma. When we want to test our economies, who do we go to? Moody's. Depending on how moody Moody's are, our economies are equally moody. <laughs> when we want to measure our economies, which indices do we use? GDP. Ladies and gentlemen, the time is now, therefore, for us to begin to assess what it is that we must do as I conclude. And I'm suggesting that the time is now for African central banks to begin to work intimately with organizations such as SADAC initially, with organizations such as East African Community or ECOWAS, for the purpose of beginning to harmonize our economies and having regulatory frameworks that enable trade to happen in a seamless way. The time is now for African central banks to begin to work closely with the African Union under the aegis of the Africa Agenda 2063 as a necessary facilitator to Africa continental free trade area, that we must begin to do things that are going to inform the African agenda within the African economic and financial ecosystem. The time is now that we must begin to ensure that we de-dollarize our economy. The Americans don't want to hear this. That we must begin to de-dollarize our economies. Because as long as our economies are dollarized, it means that the externalities are affecting our very being. Right now in Kenya, if you want dollars, they can't give you more than $5,000. The same in Ghana. And when we do that, whichever currency we create will stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the American dollar. Then you will talk about trade.
The time is now that we must begin to interrogate the role of banks which were meant to be Pan-Africa, such as the African Development Bank. I know many of you now know the second largest investor in the, American, the African Development Bank, paradoxically and ironically, is the United States of America. And the other one, of course, is Japan, African Development Bank. During the appointment of their last head, the Americans even wanted to veto his appointment, African Development Bank. Institutions such as the African Development Bank must now be made to be true African Development Bank that relates with other banks from a position of strength. If we do so, ladies and gentlemen, then the central banking that you are talking about will be central banking that informs the African environment. Let us not wait for Europe and America to give us terminologies in the financial sector. I had it being said, KYC, know your customer. If tomorrow Europe and America comes up with another acronym, you'll now begin to change. I'm suggesting that we must begin to churn out some of these terms that are relevant to our own circumstances. Kwame Nukuruma was right 60 years ago when he said, if you are not economically and financially independent, then the independence you are talking about is of no value. He was right when he said that Africa will only be truly independent if she controls our resources and our banking sectors. He was right when he said that Africans must harmonize their financial policy. He was right when he said that Africa will only begin to be respected if her finances are controlled by her. He was right when he said that in financial relations in the world, the rule is still the law of the jungle, survival of the fittest and the dying of the least suitable. Ladies and gentlemen, I beg to stop in the knowledge that I have annoyed and irritated you sufficiently <laughs> so that you may ask such questions as are necessary. I know they will want to control me, but I want to be asked questions. Imagine if Africa unites. Imagine Africa has one currency. Imagine Africa has one leader. Imagine if Africa has one indigenous national language in our unity. Why does China uh, doesn't want to let Taiwan go? Why did America has to uh, take over Alaska, New Mexico, and other territories? Population is power. Economy is power. That's why the great powers are preventing Africa to unite. Because the moment Africa unites, it's a danger, it's a threat to others' development as well. So guys, there are many questions to be answered. And there are many questions to ask. But whilst we keep the engagement going, let's comment down below. Let's engage ourselves. Let's think of how we, the youth, in this generation can help bridge the gap between the rich and the poor because we all have suffered enough from the hands of the people we cannot trust the hands of the people who have bullied us and asked us to keep quiet when we complain so if you enjoy this video kindly subscribe to our channel so that we can build and grow as a new channel your support is what will keep us going thank you for watching